Good morning, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read Always in Trouble. Emma's dog, Toby, was always in trouble. On Monday, he got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. On Wednesday, he ate a loaf of bread that Emma's dad had just baked. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he chewed up all the buttons on Emma's new coat. On Sunday, he snoozed. But on Monday morning, he got into the garbage again. Something has to be done about that dog, said Emma's mom. Maybe he isn't getting enough attention, said Emma. So all day Monday, she gave Toby lots of attention. She took him for walks and brushed his fur and sang him silly songs. But on Tuesday, Toby ate a box of crayons. On Wednesday, he jumped into the basket of clean laundry that Emma's mom had just finished folding. He was very good on Thursday. He was very good on Friday. But on Saturday, he chewed up a magazine. Uh-oh. And on Sunday, he went wading in the muddy brook and then ran across the clean kitchen floor. Something has to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. Maybe he needs to go to dog training school, said Emma. What a great idea, said Emma's mom. The first class started the next day. There were 10 dogs in Toby's class. Some were big and some were little. Some barked and some yipped and some growled and some whined. Toby was quiet as a goldfish. He behaved perfectly at school every week and he did everything just right. When Emma said sit, he sat. When Emma said come, he came. When Emma said heel, he stood right by her side. He was the best dog, said Mrs. Katz, the teacher, when the classes were all over. At graduation, she gave Toby a diploma with a gold seal. Emma's mom tacked the, the diploma low down on the wall, right over Toby's dog dish. Now you know how to behave, she said to Toby. But on Monday, Toby got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. On Wednesday, he ate the cookies that Emma's dad had just baked. He's mad. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night and woke everyone up. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he dug up the petunias Emma and her mom had just planted. On Sunday, he chewed up his diploma. Something has to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. Emma took him back to dog school. Does he sit, asked Mrs. Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he come, said Ag asked Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he heal, asked Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Well then, what's the trouble, asked Miss Katz. So Emma told her. I see, said Miss Katz. If you want a specially trained dog, you'll have to leave him with me for the week. Okay, said Emma. Emma missed Toby all week. He was very happy to see her when she picked him up. I hope you've learned something this time, said Emma's mom. Please, Toby, Emma whispered to him. You've got to be good now. Toby licked Emma's face. He had a strange twinkle in his eye. On Monday, he took out the garbage. On Tuesday, he baked some bread. On Wednesday, he vacuumed the rug. On Thursday, he folded the laundry. On Friday, he washed the kitchen floor. On Saturday, he planted some petunias. And on Sunday, he snoozed. Wow, he was a great dog. But no dog can be perfect always, not even Toby. <gasps> Look, he ran through the page. The end. We miss you, hope to see you soon.